If you're giving someone access to your Google business profile, it's super important to do it the right way. That's why in this video, I'm going to go over the proper way to add an owner or a manager to your Google business profile. Now, it's really important to only give people access this way. Do not give people direct login information because... Your Google business profile login is your Gmail login, which means they'll have access to your emails. And if they have your direct login, they could also potentially take over your account and lock you out. So don't worry, because I'm about to show you how to do it the right way. So this is going to give people access to the back end of your Google business profile. And that is basically the information that people will see on your Google Maps, Google Knowledge Panel, and your Google 3 Pack as well. So we're about to cover how to give somebody access, the different levels of access that they can have, and also how to remove somebody's access, because that way you are always in control. So you ready to dive in? Let's go ahead and let's begin. So all you're gonna do is come over to your Google business profile. So to do that, just type in business.google.com. And if for whatever reason you're not seeing the Google business profile you want, you might just not be logged into the right Google account. All you have to do is come up to your profile picture here, click on that, click on show more accounts, and then select the Google business profile that you want to work with. So this part's pretty straightforward. All you're gonna do is come over here to the three vertical ellipses or the three dots, click on that and choose business profile settings. And then you're gonna come over where it says people and access, add, edit or remove people's accesses. It's exactly what you want. So you just go ahead and you click on that. And then from there, all you're gonna do is click on add. And then all you wanna do is add in the email address of the person that you're adding as a user. So in this case, I'm just gonna add one of my other accounts. So now it's asking me what role or what access level I want this person to have. So I only have two options here. I can add them as an owner, I can add them in as a manager. So let's just have a look at the difference between those two. So the owner has the highest level of control over a profile. They have full access to manage the profile, including editing, adding, or deleting information. The owner can also invite other people to be owners or managers. The owner can also remove other owners or managers. And most important to know is the owner can also delete the entire Google business profile. So what you want to know is that there's also the primary account owner and there's also additional owners that can be added to the account. So the primary account owner is a person responsible for the profile. There is only one primary owner. So the additional owners have similar permissions to the primary owner, but they can't remove that primary owner. They also cannot transfer ownership of the account. So managers, on the other hand, can manage most of the things on your profile, but there are some limits which you probably want. So they can do all the essentials like update your profile, add in some images, respond to your reviews, look at your analytics, that sort of thing. So what's really important is that manager cannot add or remove users. They cannot transfer that account ownership and they cannot delete that Google business profile. So if you're working with an agency, employee, or contractor, your best bet is to add them in as a manager. So I'm just gonna pretend I'm adding myself on as a manager, and then I'm just gonna click on invite. So what's gonna happen now is the person that you invited is gonna receive an email from Google. And I like to tell them that the email is gonna come from Google so they don't expect the email to come from me. So once they get the email, basically it's just gonna say, do you accept being a user on this account? And they just have to accept it. And once they do that, they pretty much have access to the access level that you granted them. So the other thing I wanna just quickly show you is let's say you send out that invitation and you're like, oops, I didn't wanna invite that person or for whatever reason you wanna cancel it, it's really easy. So you just go back into the same area. So business profile settings, you go back into this people and access. And then basically what you wanna do is just go to that email address, you click on it and it's going to say cancel the invitation. You just have to click on that and it'll say, you can't undo this, cancel the invitation, and then you just go ahead and you click OK. Okay, so now let's say that you wanna remove any of the users that you've added. All you need to do is come back to this area. You go here, you've got this by now, business profile settings, people and access, find the person that you wanna remove, click on their profile, 
and you're just going to come over here and remove the person and that'll remove all their accesses. So it's really that simple and gives you that full control. So by now you should be feeling pretty confident about how to add a contractor or an employee to your Google business profile and rest assured that you know how to remove them just in case you ever need to. So if this video has helped you out, please drop a comment below because I'd really love to know. And also don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get even more marketing tips. So this is Trisha from Marketing Senorita wishing you a ton of online success.